What's up guys, Chris Manager, aka Muscle Vans, and I just want to pick up a breakfast burrito from one of my favorite taco shops as you guys just seen, show you guys what it looks like. This is going to be military breakfast for today. Authentic sausage breakfast burrito, and we have these little hot sauces that go along with them. So this is going to be my breakfast for the day. Yeah, and I'm a vlog today, so it's gonna be a vlog. So there's no plan, we're just going shooting from the hip. I hope you guys enjoy it. Yeah, stay tuned, enjoy the video, let's go. All right guys, it's a couple hours later. The burrito has digested. Sitting around got me actually kinda of tired, but hey, I gotta go get it done, stick to my schedule, and it's a leg day at the gym. But I'm gonna take this pre-workout for the first time ever. I'm about to let you guys know how it tastes. This is gonna be live. Everything, everything live. So it's got a little rip piece right here where you rip it it's like that. Bam, that was easy enough. So far, everything is smooth. Also, this thing has 250 milligrams of caffeine in it. So if you're feeling down, you're feeling a little slow, a little sluggish, this should pick you up. If not, then I don't know. Maybe you just take too much caffeine. But yeah, this is a lot of caffeine. It says for beginners, it suggests half a scoop, but I'm not a beginner. So, here we go. Super secure. You got your little drying packet. This case is from getting all moisture in there. This is what it looks like. I have the green apple flavor. Let's see how far the scoop is. Scoop is right here. I can feel it. I wish the scoop was on top. Make it a lot better. There we go. So I'm going with one full scoop. Just like that. Put in my trusty bottle that I've been using for years. It smells in the air. I don't know if you guys ever heard that smell of fresh pre workout product when it gets in the air. Gets to you. <coughs> I'm going to do about four. Maybe six ounces, let's see. That's enough right there for one scoop. Now it says green apple. So if it turns to green, I don't know. So this is what it looks like. Red cone one, total war. Pre-workout, green apple flavor. All right, first test of taste going down right now. So it actually tastes really good. It's not green. I don't get that which has some green dye to it. But hey, it is what it is. It tastes delicious. And then, yeah, I'm about to head to the gym. Hope you guys enjoyed this workout. And I'm gonna let you guys know how my energy was throughout the workout from this pre-workout. Once the workout is done, stay tuned, enjoy the video, leave a thumbs up. Let's go. What's up guys, I hope you enjoy this voice of what I'm about to do right now. Um, started off with squats, high bar right here, 225 on the bar, going for depth, getting back into it. I kind of had like a slight injury in my hip a while back, didn't really get any medical diagnosis, but uh, yeah, it took a little time not squatting heavy, and I worked my way back up, and I think I'm back, I think I'm back good. Stepped up the weight right here, as you see. We got 225 plus 50, so we got 275 right here on the bar. Depth is perfect, and I always lace up with protective gear. I got my wrist wraps on, and I got my knees free. Those make a big difference to me in helping me stay supportive and stay tight. Then we stepped it up to 315. By the way, I started off with the rep ranges of 8 to 12, and then I ended in a lower rep range of 6 to 8. 
315 right here on the bar. The depth is still great as you see, still going deep. And then the top set, my final set on squats, we left it right here at 335. If you don't believe me, count the plates, you see it. Three plates plus a 10 on each side, 335. So there you go, do your math, get your answers. But the depth, I'm super proud of myself for going super deep on these squats. Super proud, super happy with the result of me laying off of that um, heavy training for a little while. Then put some work into my calves. You guys don't have this machine, this machine is awesome. It's a calf extension machine. I love it, it's my favorite. You just put the middle of your toe, you see right here, kind of towards the top, just a little below, and you push and you flex your calf muscle. Then went on to one of my favorite leg pieces of equipment, it's the leg extension. Super simple, but super effective. That's why I love it oh so much. This is why it's one of my favorite. You get your quad popping. Get a little different angle, see right here, as you see. Coming back slightly past that 90, and then back up. Try not to lock my knee out as much as possible. It's bad for your knees, so I'm trying not to lock my knees out as much as possible. Then went on to the lion hamstring curl, my favorite hamstring piece of equipment, a piece of equipment that works the hamstring. Yeah, I do not like the other hamstring equipment. I rather do some RDL, do some dumbbells or something. But I hope you guys enjoyed the commentary. Commentary. Killer leg workout. I also did shoulders, but I didn't take footage of shoulders, but killer leg workout. Top that at 335. I got five reps, I believe. I got to look back at the video. It's three or five, but I believe five. But this is, this pre-workout, it's really good, especially for people who do not want to feel the tingles. I did not feel any tingles with this pre-workout. Like I said, 250 milligrams of caffeine. It also has L-citrulline, six grams of that. It is beta alanine in here, but I did not feel the tingles, so I don't think it's too much. It says 3.2 grams. So in my opinion, good pre-workout. Really good. It gives you energy. Gives you a crazy pump. And like I said, this is the green apple flavor. And I loved it. Loved it. Loved it. So really good workout. I'm about to go shower. Um, I'm probably not going to take a, a protein shake because I'm going to go eat something. And I don't know what I'm going to eat yet. I possibly may do cardio, so I may not shower. Yeah, I'll update you guys later. Like I said, my day is just shooting from the hip. But yeah, great day so far. Great workout. Great product. Like I said, use my discount code T10 Christopher M. Helps me out tremendously. Ranks up to where I can eventually get sponsored. It's kind of a process where it's like a rank up system, very similar to the military. Once again, use my code T10 Christopher M. Says you 10% all the time. But yeah, let's go. All right, guys, we decided to get a post workout meal. This is Sarah's idea. I only been to this place once. I'm gonna show you guys this place in a second. We're walking there right now. And I'm slightly excited, but I'm slightly nervous. Alright guys, surprise well, Sarah took me to 10 degrees and I got what they call a plate. The Chipotle barbecue chicken, white meat. Seasoned vegetables, I guess it comes with corn. We got a killer salad, and this bread comes with it. I'm not sure if I want the bread or not, but it looks really delicious. So I'm gonna eat this, and I'll let you guys know how it tastes. Eight ton of greens, and it was delicious. Really didn't want to go, but Sarah kind of made me, and I actually loved it. And she's here in this little thing where you drop a book off, and you exchange the <laughs> Hey, you shouldn't have turned around. You ate it down. You ate it for winning. But yeah, really good meal. So, tender greens. Try it out. Really delicious. What's up guys, it is now June the 7th. Just getting back on the camera. Um, last time I remember, we went to Tender Greens and Tender Greens was really delicious. And we also killed a lay workout where I topped out at 335 pounds. But I wanna take this portion right here to update you guys a little bit on my life and tell you guys what I've been up to and some of my recent goals that I'm uh, going after. So some of my goals as far as fitness goes, um, I'm not really cutting, I'm not really bulking. I'm kinda maintaining, staying healthy, staying strong. Um, just cheap meals here and there, just enjoying life. Not going too crazy though on cutting or not going too crazy on uh, bulking. So yeah, just in a happy place right now and really enjoying what I'm doing, trying to get back up on this camera and trying to get back into life and back into my groove. Um, education wise, yes, um, I never shared this on my channel but I'm gonna share it now. I did take the National Academy of Sports Medicine um, 
course i did the online portion i think it was like 1100 bucks for the national academy of sports medicine personal trainer cert i did go take the exam and i passed it first time up i really should have shared that on video uh, i don't know why i didn't i did post it on my instagram matter of fact give me a second i'm gonna grab a cert right now be right back as you see you officially uh, got a little blurry right? bam there we go i'm now officially a certified personal trainer and yes I do have a website where you can purchase custom programs what you do is you hit contact when you go to my website and you email me what you want what type of program you want and you'll see the programs there and nutritional uh, guides so just pick one prices are on the site it's at www.musclemems.com one word www.musclemems dot com go check out my website show me some love i highly appreciate it if you're new to the channel definitely go check out the website definitely check out the brand like the video subscribe to the channel if you have not but yeah really enjoying life really in a happy place um haven't been behind the camera too much just like i said yeah enjoying things i'm still full active in the military so i still have a job in the military full time that takes most of my time i'm a military police for those of you who don't know yeah, for those of you who don't know, um, I used to be a CB, hurrah, so I'm still a CB, once CB, always a CB, but I'm not an MA also. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, enjoyed this little life update. I promise I won't be away from the camera so long. I will come out with a video soon. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Smash the like button, subscribe to the channel. As always, stay true, and I'll see you guys in the next one.